Hey everyone. Yeah, I know crappy webcam again. Sorry. Um, my main camera's fine. I'm, I'm just having some lighting issues. I got this new really bright light up here and it's like messing with the other I, I got some adjustments to make but that's neither here nor there we have some big news to talk about here when it comes to nintendo switch aka the switch pro okay i know it's not really aka but actually we do have switch pro stuff to talk about because nintendo did a really weird firmware update a firmware update that seemingly did Nothing. Before I get into that, I've got to remind you, I haven't done it in a little bit, so don't get mad at me. We do have a giveaway going on for $100 in cash money to enter. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel, comment on this video. You get additional entries for commenting on every video in the month of April. You get 10 entries for commenting on podcast episodes. Details and all this are down in the description or the pinned comment. All right. So we have this information from Nintendo's 12.0 update. So if you guys haven't updated your Switches yet, go ahead and do it. The patch notes basically just say, hey, look, we fixed a bug with the data save backups. And this is really, really strange because the data save backup system and fixing a bug with that, well, that's nice and everything. Those cloud backups, it's nice to fix, but why would this be a 12.0 update? The prior version, by the way, was 11.0.1. They literally jumped basically a full version. They didn't do anything in between. Normally, these like minor system updates are in between versions, not full updates. Full updates contain things like new features, um, the you know the new little red Nintendo Switch Online icon, um, you know the ability to reorganize our games. Uh, they, they they usually contain like a slightly major feature or at least a significant one for some reason, uh, and this one didn't. Except something's been discovered in the firmware. So let's go over to Twitter. So Oatmeal Dome is a well-known uh, Switch hacker. And he says it appears the 12.0.0 update has added the capability for the dock's internal firmware to be updated. Can't see an obvious reason why. Cradle is the dock's internal name, thanks to Switch Brew and its maintainers. So, okay, you know, uh, Cradle firmware updater, no input returns. Okay, so whatever, right? Like, okay, so Nintendo is including this ability to, you know, update the dock. Uh, which is interesting because, as he po points out, the dock itself only contains USB chips, uh, a my DP to HDMI converter, and then flash memory to store its firmware. I'm not sure what the point of an update would, would be considering how basic it is inside. So I'm aware it has never received one before. So, yeah, it, it, as far as we're aware, the dock has never been updated before. Uh, and this updater doesn't even claim that it's updating anything. It's just it's giving the ability to update the dock. Uh, and that's weird because the only real thing on the dock that you could think could be updated is the USB ports. The USB ports are like technolo like technically technology wise, they're USB 3.0 ports. That's what I was trying to go to. But they don't run. We, we've proven this over time. They don't run at USB 3.0 speeds. They're running as USB 2 ports. You could argue a firmware update potentially might be able to run them at USB 3.0. We don't know for sure. We'd have to know what the exact USB modules are on the actual board. It's possible that while the ports themselves are 3.0, it could have just been because they're in mass production and super cheap, and the actual module on the board is only a 2.0 module. We don't know this for sure. You'd have to start ripping off chips and, and, and all this stuff to figure that out. So at this point, we're not even sure that it can run at 3.0 despite having 3.0 ports. But you could argue anyways, okay, maybe Nintendo's finally going to enable those 3.0 ports, which really really aren't going to do anything for Nintendo. Uh, if anyone thinks this means, oh no, this means you can hook up an external GPU, you know, we're going to get that external compute device that was in those patents years ago. No. External GPUs run on USB-C and Thunderbolt exclusively. Those ports are twice as fast, if not faster, than USB-A 3.0 ports. And even on those faster ports, the, G the GPUs are still gimped. So, yeah, no, this isn't going to be for an external computing device. I don't, The only reason to really upgrade to 3.0 would be, I guess, for better latency with wired controllers, maybe? I, I, I don't even know. I mean, maybe Nintendo's going to release, like, a webcam module because certain webcams obviously run way better with USB 3. So there are devices out there, external devices, that are better with USB 3 and specifically USB 3.1, but as far as we're aware, there's not really anything in the works for Nintendo that should matter or need that kind of dock update. Uh, but turns out there's more details in this. So when you leave it right here, you're just kind of like, ah, whatever. Where does Switch Pro come into play? We'll scroll on down. More information here. What's this say? Nintendo Switch firmware update. About my earlier tweet about the 12.0 being able to upgrade the dock firmware. There is also this setting. 
is CRDA underscore FW underscore update underscore supported. CRDA is Cradle Doc for Alula. Alula is the code name for the new Switch model. We learned that Alula was the code name for the new Switch model a while ago from Scryers M and others out there. But here you go. Here it is. CDRA FW update supported. This is not referenced really anywhere else. CDRA, again, Alula. Guys, this is an update. This is an update for, well, you know, according to Mike Heskin here is backing this up, by the way. This is an update that looks like it's specifically for the upcoming Switch Pro. Uh, it's an update for the new dock. Now, again, we don't have that dock. And as far as we're aware, this update has done nothing to the current dock. So here's what this does kind of confirm. And, we, and I think we've always known the Switch Pro is going to have a new dock, right? It's going to have a new dock. I think we've always known that. The current dock cannot output at 4K. Even if it wanted to, it just can't. It doesn't have the capability. It doesn't have the right HDMI port. It literally couldn't do it from a hardware perspective. So they were going to need to have a new dock anyways if you were going to get 4K output. And this update appears to be for that. Now you might say, well, why the hell do they have an update for a, a platform that's not here and not even announced publicly yet? Because devs have it. And these updates also go to dev units. And when they go to the dev units, it updates their dock. What this update does to their dock, we obviously don't know because we're not developers. Does this change uh, potential outputs? Does this change specs? You know, is Nintendo locking in the final specs for docked mode? Is, is that what this update's about? Even though you would think those specs would be internally, maybe they're not. Maybe they're handled through the dock. Maybe it's it's changing power delivery on the dock to hit certain specs. I have no idea. We don't know what this update does because we don't have a dev unit. We don't have a dev unit in our hands to look at what this update factually changed um, on the dock. And I doubt we're going to hear about it because despite the fact that we have had some leaks from the dev units come out to the public in terms of capabilities of the Switch Pro, we're not getting everything. People seem to be pretty, you know, pretty stick to it when it comes to the NDA on this platform, which is fine. Nintendo is very, very sticklers about the NDA stuff. So the fact we've even heard the dev units are out at all is already kind of a miracle. Uh, so yeah, I, this is just this is something that we're gonna have to keep in the back of our minds. Um, that this is just a, another confirmation, our second confirmation in the firmware that Switch Pro is real. Guys, we, we've been talking about this for a while, that, hey, everyone's looking for evidence. Everyone wants to know, how do we know that Switch Pro is real? Nintendo's already referenced it once in a prior firmware update, and now they've referenced it again with something that's updating the dock, which already goes to just further evidence that we're getting. Like, a dock update at all is already evidence, but having the dock update specifically reference Alula is, we got it, folks. Switch Pro's coming. It's not like you didn't know already, but for the doubters out there, the evidence keeps stacking up. And I get it. For some people, until Nintendo announces it, none of it matters. And I understand that sentiment. Just get ready. I'm not saying E3. I don't think they're announcing it at E3. And I realize when E3 comes and goes and it's not announced, all the people that are doubting it are going to be like, ha ha, suck it, all you people. It's not real. Wait till September. That's all I'll say. Wait till September ends. Wake me up when September ends. Yeah, I just green dayed your ass. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, I am Nathaniel Robojazz from the Center Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.